At Constant Lab, we design and build training aids in three different areas automotive, heavy vehicle, and electrical engineering. Today I want to show you one of our series of products. This is a 1918 series, and I want to show you four different models. Now, all four models are based around the same design. The 1918 series has a modular design where each one of the panels can be easily removed and upgraded. Now, now we've been building these trainers for over 20 years. And there are schools out there that are still using the same frame 20 years later. Now I'd like to show you the CL1918 1S. This is the automotive lighting systems trainer. On the automotive lighting systems trainer, we have headlights, turn signals, side markers, tail lights, brake lights, and side markers as well, as well as the license plate. In the middle, we've got all of the controls. So we have fuses, we've got relays, turn flasher, hazard flasher, horn, all the different switches, our multifunction switch, high beam, and headlights. Now, on the back side of the switches panel, we have a fault box where you, as a teacher, can go in with a key and select different faults. Introduce faults into the circuit for the headlights, tail lights, brake lights, pretty much all the different lighting control circuits. And then the students can go through and diagnose the inserted faults. Now with this trainer, we provide a comprehensive operation manual that includes step-by-step -step wiring instructions for your students, test questions, exercises, color schematics, uh, and this is all available to you as a PDF document, so you're able to print out multiple copies for your students for use in the classroom. Now let's do an example exercise. For all exercises on the 1918 series trainers, you're going to need to start by bringing power up to the trainer. So we're going to connect wires from the power supply to the trainer. We can see when the trainer is connected to the power supply and the power supply is on with the power indicator here. Now if I was one of your entry level students, I'm going to follow the step by step wiring instructions to wire this circuit. So I'm going to take a red jumper wire, connect it from power to the fuse. Then I'm going to take a second red jumper wire, connect it from the fuse to the ignition switch. The third red jumper wire is going to go from the ignition switch to the light bulb. And lastly, I'm going to connect a black jumper wire from the light bulb to ground. Here we can see the circuit is properly wired, and if we turn the switch off, light turns off. If we turn the switch on, light turns on. If I was one of your advanced students, you could just give me the idea of you want a light bulb to turn on with a switch. And you could let me go with that. Maybe I'll go through a different switch. Maybe I'll use the ignition switch, brake switch. It's not really going to matter. The idea is to have exploratory learning. And the students are learning by doing. The CL1918 1S is great for basic level automotive lighting circuits and is excellent in high schools. Now let's change models. Let's say you want to go more advanced. We have another center panel that has a body control module. So let's remove the CL1918 1S center panel and we're going to replace it with the BCM panel. Now, all we've changed is the center panel. We can still keep the same headlights and the same taillights. Our controls have completely changed. Now let's talk a little bit more about the differences. We're now looking at a different model. This is a CL1918 2S, and this has a body control module. We can see that on our center panel, we now have a different multifunction switch. We have dimmer, the body control module. We also have a data link connector, a standardized OBD2 16 pin data link connector. This means that when the trainer is completely wired, the student can take a scan tool, connect it to the DLC, and have bi directional controls with the scan tool, as well as codes and read data. We also have a fault box with six different faults. The CL1918 2S also has complete user's manual 
with exercises, step-by-step -step wiring instructions that are all correlated to NATEF tasks. Now let's move on to a different model. This is the LV1918 1S, and this is for light vehicles, specifically motorcycles. So all the components on here are components that you would find typically on a motorcycle. All of your switch gear, your headlight, tail light, and side markers are the same as you would find on a motorcycle. One of the differences on the LV1918 1S is the fault box. The fault box is now accessible on the front of the panel. Now, if we look here, we can see that we have different switches. Now, currently, the students can't activate any faults. They need the key. So if we turn the key into program mode, we'll see. We have green indicator lights. Now, if you as an instructor walk up with the key, put it into programming mode, now you can push the different buttons, activate different faults. We're going to see there's a red indicator. Now, when you go and you take it out of programming mode, there's no more indication as to whether or not there's a fault or not. Now, here's the last model that I want to show you today. This is the HV1918 1S. Now, these are all components from a heavy vehicle, either an on-highway truck or heavy equipment. Now there are some changes on this one. We've changed the top panel, bottom panel, and the center. These are all LED lights, except for the headlights. We've also added a fault box to the top panel that allows you to have a voltage drop on the ground circuit of the headlights. As with all 1918 series products, there is a fault box on the center panel. Here we can insert 10 different faults into the various circuits. The HV1918 1S comes with a complete user's manual, including step-by-step -step wiring instructions, color schematics, tests, and answers. This is also available to you as a PDF document. As you can see, Console Lab's 1918 series of products is a great solution for your classroom. We've had so many teachers talking about this product, and they're always giving us different comments. And one of the teachers recently said to us, he said, you know, this is one of the products that's just great because you can give it to the student with the manual and they'll be challenged for hours. All of the products are available single-sided or double-sided, so you can mix and match to meet your program's needs. For example, on this side we have automotive, and on this side we have heavy vehicle. All 1918 series products use the same power supply, and there's always one power supply per side so that if the student on one side makes a mistake, it won't affect the other. Now, all of the power supplies are electronically protected, so if your student wants to do some arc welding, it's not going to be a problem. You can touch and hold the leads together, and it's not going to damage the power supply. The 1918 series frame is designed to have a very small footprint and to take up very little room in storage. So, the shelves on both sides are foldable, and the top comes down. The 1918 is also designed to fit through virtually any doorway in your school. To find out more about our products, check out consolab.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.